And the Hopkins trip comes after St. Louis native Bob Bankin spent several months at the space station. Now another St. Louis native is taking part in a launch this weekend of the Sentinel-6 spacecraft. Fox 2's Michaela McGee has that story all new tonight. As a freshman at Kirkwood High, Deja Williams was mistakenly enrolled into an honors geometry class and expected to fail. And now, at 26 years old, she is a manufacturing engineer for NASA. The teacher who put me into honors math, she told me it was a mistake. She, she really didn't think that, you know, I was up to par, but that mistake she made took me this far. Deja Williams has always been smart. But never in her wildest dreams did she imagine she would one day work for the world's leading organization for the study of science and space. Sometimes I still uh, have to pinch myself. It's always like an uh, exhilarating experience to just be around so many smart people and um, you, just, just being present. Deja played basketball and attended Kirkwood High School, then went on to become a student athlete at Missouri S&T one of the top engineering schools in the country. But like most young girls, becoming an engineer was not her first option. My mom, she convinced me to go into a STEM field and, and she saw that I was getting kind of good at math and science. So she was like, why don't, why don't you explore this? There's not a lot of women. There's not a lot of uh, black people in this field. See, see what you can do and see if you can, can make a change. Deja has had a lot of success in her life. But her path to NASA was met with leaps and hurdles. It's just always been a fight to, you know, prove myself, you know. She's now living in L.A. and helping NASA prepare for the launch of Sentinel-6. Her advice for those who aspire to reach for the stars? Put yourself out there. Um, you know, apply for things that you don't think you qualify for. Take classes that you don't think you're smart enough for. Um, it'll take you farther than you realize. Reporting, Michaela McGee, Fox 2 News.